Let's dive in to setting up and managing tasks. Tasks are typically managed by producers, so it's important that we work closely with them to set things up in the right way. In this topic, we'll cover best practices for maintaining tasks along with managing tasks from task templates. Task templates reduce the amount of labor associated with creating tasks across a project. They simplify and increase the speed of our project setup. When setting up tasks for the first time, it's important to keep them as consolidated as possible. The general rule is to start with a one-to-one -one match between tasks and pipeline steps. Though tasks can be assigned to a person, people, or a group, we recommend tracking separate tasks for entities like shots and assets with multiple artists. In other words, steer away from assigning multiple people to one task. This will make tasks much easier to track from an artist perspective for the iteration cycle, as well as from a producer perspective for tracking bids versus actuals. Typically, producers create and update tasks from the tasks page. In this case, we're seeing a list of all tasks our producers manage that need to be completed in our signal project. And from this page, we can set up task templates as well to help automate our workflow. First, let's add the tasks we'd like to link to our new CG character asset. Then, let's add some metadata. Including dependencies. and create a new task template. When we create task templates from the tasks page, the task name, pipeline step, duration, upstream and downstream dependencies are fields preserved for each task in the resulting template. We can also apply task templates to entities from this page to update them. or we can apply them for the first time to entities from an entity page. If we want to save more metadata on task templates, we manage this via task templates, available through the Apply Task Template menu and Admin menu. From this page, we see a list of all task templates Many of these are task templates shipped with Shotgun that give a great starting point. We can even duplicate an existing template and adjust, so we're not starting from scratch. Each template is organized by entity type. Let's check out the template we created earlier. We can see that the task name, pipeline step, duration, upstream and downstream dependencies were fields preserved from our initial save on the tasks page. But let's fill in the sort order and bid information. Since on Signal, the bids will start off the same as the duration, and the duration may increase depending on workload. We can also add, delete, or update any tasks from here, and update dependencies. We also have the ability to pin tasks from the task template so that downstream tasks don't automatically shift when applying task templates and updating a task's start date. But with Signal, we'll keep the tasks unpinned since we prefer the auto-shifting. We recommend checking with producers to see what their preference is. Let's pivot a little and talk about some of the metadata saved on the task template entity. By default, we'll see some general information, like the task template name, entity type, number of tasks which pulls up a focus window, and description. We have the ability to add more fields and track more data, for now, let's add the Restrict to Projects field to the page and add Signal to the task template we created. This field controls which task templates will appear when applying them in a project. We can also see that our Shot Training Videos task template is restricted to the Admin Series project, so it will only be applicable in that project. This is super helpful when our templates vary per project type. By right-clicking on a task template, we also have the option to reapply a task template to a project, meaning 
reapplying the task template to entities where it was already applied. We'll be given an outline of what will be updated upon reapplying. New tasks in the template will be added to the entities, while values for name, step, duration, and task dependency will be overwritten. So let's focus in on those fields, read carefully, and proceed with caution. Note that statuses will never be overwritten.